So now we'll be talking about the NS lookup command. NS lookup is a network administration tool for querying the DNS to obtain domain name or IP address mapping or any other specific DNS record. NS lookup can operate on both interactive as well as non-interactive mode. Interactive mode allows the users to query the DNS server about the various host and domain, whereas the non-interactive mode allows the user to query the information for host or domain. Let us see at some of the examples, like look, NS lookup, then the name of the site. In our case, it is triple id d dot ac dot in. As you can see, in the out, the server refers to the IP address of the DNS server. Now talking about the MX extension, NS lookup minus query is equals to MX and then the name of the site. Here the MX stands for the mail exchange. MX record maps a domain name to a list of mail exchanges server for that domain. The MX record tells that all the emails sent to at the rate IIDD.ac.in should be routed to the mail servers in the domain. In this example, we have 5 MX records. The numbers like 1, 5, 10 example here are associated with the MX record which tells the preference of the mail server. Lower is the number, higher is the preference. So when a mail is sent to at the rate IIDD.ac.in the first reference will be aspmx.l.google.com. So now specifically talking about the non-authoritative answers and the authoritative answer. Any answer that originates from the DNS server which has complete zone file information available for the domain is said to be authoritative answer. In many cases, DNS server will not have the complete zone file information available for a given domain. Instead, it maintains a cache file which has the result of all queries performed in the past for which it has got an authoritative response. When a DNS inquiry is given, it searches the cache file and returns the information available as non-authoritative answer. Or now taking at another example. Okay, so now moving on to the NS extension. NS lookup minus type equals to NS and then the name of the site triple ITD dot AC dot N. Here NS refers to the name server. NS record map a domain name to a list of DNS servers authoritative for that domain. It will output the name servers servers which are associated with the given domain. Let us take another example. Now taking any other random website like Facebook. Okay. So now moving on to the SOA command. Here SOA stands for start of authority. SOA record provides the authoritative information about the domain, the email address of the domain, admin, the, uh, the domain serial number etc as you can see there are so many fees and, and now I'll be trying to explain them first of all the mail address it specifies the mail address of the domain admin next the refresh it specifies when the secondary DNS will poll the primary to see if the serial numbers has been increased if increased the secondary will make a new request to the copy of the new zone file Re retry it specifies the interval to reconnect with the primary dns expire it specifies the time that the secondary dns will keep the cached zone file as valid new specifies the time that the secondary dns should cache the dns file now looking at the last it is ns lookup and then the ip address directly for example i am taking 103.247.96.231 In this case, we are specifically giving the IP address as the argument. 